First is Momentum. It basically revamps the design whenever you open a new tab. It also changes the photo every now and then so it's refreshing. You can customize it to your liking whether you want it on military time or not. You can also place your name which is so cute because it greets you good morning or evening or switch it to their daily inspirational quotes. Personally, I don't really use this part of the extension but it can also act as your mini accountability buddy with its focus for today and a whole dedicated corner at the right side for your to-do lists. It has plenty of other settings you can customize as well like the weather, color, photos, and a timer but most of them are paid so no thank you. I'm sorry, Momentum. You have a really good free extension. Speaking of clock and timers, Tide is also another great extension. I personally use and like their mobile app, but I've recently downloaded their extension. It's basically a Pomodoro timer and in its settings, you can customize how long you want to work and take a break and after how many cycles you want to take a long break. It basically helps you manage your time better by knowing how long you take to do a certain task. It can also help prevent distractions too by letting you block certain sites while you're on immersive mode. And then when you go to that side, it completely blacks out the side for you so that you're not distracted. And I really love their different background music, like they have a lot of choices. It's super calming and helps you focus on your task. So yeah, I'm just gonna show here how many they actually have. But you can also turn off the sounds if you're not into it or not in the mood for that. And you can actually track the time you spent studying, resting, or time on other sites, which I think is so cool. So when I'm back to school, I'll definitely use this more. As you can see, I haven't logged in yet since I only recently discovered this. So next is Identity, who I'm working with for this video. I use this to declutter my browser and have an all-in-one space for my go-to sites. They show all of them in these cute little icons and tiles in my command center, but you can actually organize these by category, for example school, so that it only shows what I need to use for the day and avoid distractions from going to other sites. And you can search sites with even more specific keywords like Google, Read, Watch, Pay, and etc. At the right side, it also lets you embed your Spotify or calendar and even has a dedicated space for notes and reminders, wherein you can even get more detailed by placing due dates, links, or reference a saved website tile. What's cool is that even if you're not using your own device, you can easily access all of your go-to sites anytime and anywhere using Identity. You don't have to worry about others hacking you because you can just lock it if it's not your time to use the laptop. Or all you need to do is log in using your master password and boom, it's saved all in there. Every time you click the tile, it actually automatically copies the password for you so you can easily log in and out. So next is Weva Highlighter, which is my ultimate lifesaver for online school. With this, I can highlight any text from literally any site. It's helped me digest all the information overload while researching or reading a module on Canvas. What I love is that it lets us color code. It has five colors, which in a way also helps me organize the information instead of just it being one big yellow color. I use yellow for regular information, green for terms, blue and orange for examples, and pink for main ideas. You can actually also add your own notes to the highlights just in case, which I think is so useful. It's basically like a PDF viewer right inside Google Chrome. You can also look at your past highlights from other sites, but I don't really use this part but maybe it can be useful for you guys since you can also click to the highlight and it will redirect you to that exact paragraph. So yay! So just like the previous one, this is another extension that helps me digest all the things I have to read online which I need all the help I could get, guys. My eyes are so tired, literally. And you can also upload your PDF files for it to read it for you, but I prefer to just use it on a normal website. All I need to do is highlight the text I wanted to read and then press play. 
or you can just click play and it will read the whole page of the website for you. I also appreciate that it tells me how long it will take for it to read so that I can plan my time better. And you can also change the speed and voice accent, pause, play, and skip to what's being highlighted, and many more, so it's a very customizable extension. And next is Google Docs Offline. Personally, I make and write all of my school stuff on Google Docs and Slides. When I'm online and working on a document, all of my files are being automatically synced and ready for online use. So I don't need to worry about not being able to access them without Wi-Fi. But I can also work on a document without internet connection and once I do have Wi-Fi, it automatically saves and syncs what I did. So yay, no problemo! And this offline extension comes in handy whenever our Wi-Fi gets cut off or gets choppy. So while we're on the topic of school documents, this part isn't sponsored, but Grammarly extension on Google Docs has genuinely helped me make my papers more concise and understandable, especially for my grammar Nazi college professors. It's super convenient because all I have to do is turn it on and then it will look for sentence or grammar errors on my whole document based on my writing goals. It gives suggestions and helps me reword, restructure, and rewrite my ugly sentences because I swear I'm not a good writer at all and I'm also able to learn simultaneously because I see for myself where I have sentence or grammar errors. Then for the next extension, this is actually my favorite as well. It helps me minimize any video from literally any site. All I have to do is click the button and then ta-da! It's right there. I can play it in the background and put it in a corner and resize it while I'm doing something else on another site, whether I'm writing a paper, scrolling on social media, or browsing through sources for my research paper. This isn't really that school productivity related, but I think it can help distress you and I while some Suffering and completing our school requirements, but it might also distract you guys from completing your schoolwork, so use it wisely. And lastly, another tab-related extension is Tab Groups. This is the most perfect for finals or when you're writing a research paper and have a lot of tabs open because it lets you organize your tabs by category or by color. And personally, I like rearranging it by subject and you can drag a tab in and out of a group or drag a whole group of tabs to the left or right. You can expand or minimize a group of tabs as well so your browser looks less cluttered or close it entirely by right clicking. So yeah, it really has a lot of options for you to be able to organize and see your tabs more clearly. And I'll leave a tutorial link down below on how to enable this on your Google Chrome browser if you guys still don't know. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and found it useful. Leave a comment down below of your favorite Google Chrome extensions as well. Maybe it will help me or my fellow viewers survive online school. So yeah, thank you guys.